All right, hello everybody and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy and we are currently in Hogsmeade. Uh, we have completed quite a few uh, side quests a few minutes ago and I think I'm just about to have a quick chat with uh, somebody else. Uh, I gotta go and speak with Natty but I see that we also have like another side quest uh, that's taking me over to this side. I wonder what this is. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, this is Pierce Pemberton. <laughs> All right, let's see what Mr. Pemberton has to say. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? Well, you sent me the owl. I find them intriguing. They're terrorizing uh, Goldwyn Moon. They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So oh, you did. So create he's the one that created them. I... <sighs> yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. <laughs> you are the one who's been pilfering them. I am I'm the one that took him at off, the yes. request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student. Too cowardly <laughs> to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave I'm going to be guessing this guy was uh, maybe I like his colleague repeat. in school. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. <laughs> Hogwarts caretaker is an important job. Uh, he's too big for his boots. Let's go with... It's an important job. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> uh, he know. loves it. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. <laughs> That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. <laughs> the moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. Well, you need to stop this, buddy. My apologies, you're not better than Mr. Moon. The statues are a form of bullying. You're exactly. no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. <sighs> Fair point, I suppose. If they've <laughs> terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Exactly, you gotta stop now. <laughs> the man behind the moons, look at that, the quest updated. Awesome. I wonder what I'm supposed to do next, because apparently I can still chat with them? No. All right, anyway, uh, in that case, let me make my way to Natty. Let me have a quick chat with her, because apparently she Does is... Does get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? She is preparing something, um, whatever she's preparing. Can I fly off from here? No. I gotta keep on going a little bit further. Man, seriously, I cannot fly off. <laughs> I gotta just jump in the water to be able to fly off. I think I'm gonna have to uh, jump in the water like that and fly off. There we go. Man, I absolutely love it that you can actually uh, summon the the broom while you're in the air. It's really good. All right, let's see what Natty's doing. What is she about to uh, plan here? Man, but look at this place though during the winter time. I really love this game. This game is such a beautiful game. It has a lot of puzzles. I absolutely love playing puzzle games. And I feel like Hogwarts Legacy has offered me all I requested. All I wanted from an adventure game like this. So I'm really happy that I decided to play this game. Alright, so apparently I gotta go inside here. And have a quick chat with Natty. Hold up, let me find the entrance first. It should be on this side somewhere. No, hold up. I just want to sit down. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, look at this place. It has changed again. It kind of has this uh, wintertime thing to it. Are you kidding me, game? How gorgeous is this? <laughs> Love it. All right, let's see what Maddie's doing. Apparently, she is not here just yet. There we go. I've been meaning to speak with you. Yeah, I know. It is early in the morning. Everybody is here, apparently. Oh, man, but again, look at this. Are you kidding me? How gorgeous is this place? <laughs> All right, let's have a quick chat with her. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. 
You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, <laughs> she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. Yeah, well, she should be proud of you. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never <laughs> let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. That is true. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Hallow is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him. Whether the authorities are not doing Officer anything. Singer, it's so annoying. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Wow, so that is Your how fault. she lost them. How so? He died protecting me. That doesn't if mean it was your fault. If I capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Yeah, I I'm sorry, Natty. Are you looking forward to? Are you looking to revenge his death? And how is your mother doing? Or what would your father think of what we've done? What we've been doing? Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure but about it. But I think it. he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. <laughs> well, how is your mother doing? What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. Oh, she that misses is true. him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Now in this episode, we're just about to make our way to Professor's back, uh, Black Office. Do you office. think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, Natty. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. <laughs> Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. All right, all right, Nettie. Just thank you again be careful, for saving please. me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Revelio. Perfect. Okay. Um, apparently, there is a chest below me somewhere, and I have absolutely no clue how to get to it. I have a feeling uh, this thing over here might take me to a secret doorway, but um, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Let me see if I can try to stop the fire. Nope, you can't interact with it. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure there's kind of like a doorway back there that I might be able to uh, interact with. So, next up, let's just see what we got to do next. Because if I'm not mistaken, uh, there are no more side quests that we got to do, are they? 
Oh, there is. Sky's the limit. We got to speak with Imelda Rise, of course. And I really want to do this one because I'm just about to get my uh, broom upgraded once again. So let me go to the uh, world map. And Imelda is going to... Oh, my God. Look at where she's taking me to. What? Holy smoke. She wants me to go all the way here. I've never been to this area. Wow. Okay, well, I guess we're just about to explore a brand new area then. Why not? And what well, we added, of course, activates some fast travel abilities as well. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. But uh, uh, as I'm going to do that, I'm also going to make my way and collect all the moons, right? For the Demiguy statue, just to see what this is all about as well. So let me just fast travel here. All right, so as I was saying, this one is taking me to the entrance inside the mountain here. I knew it. So in order to cross through the other side, you have to go through the mountain. There is no other way. All right, that's fine. That is fine because I am also going to be exploring. Oi, pass out fire whiskey over here. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy! Your fire whiskey and everything. I'm not going to be hiding though. I'm absolutely not going to be shying away from a battle. What's that? <laughs> Took them both out with one shot. That was awesome. Yeah, at least now we know how we can explore this area. Oh, and apparently I can actually ride my demi, uh, not my demi guys, my creatures in this area. I shall avenge I. <laughs> you shall not avenge anybody, buddy. You guys are going down. Oh god, he went all the way down there. Sorry about that, but you guys have chosen this life. Hold up. Give me that gold. There's a little bit of gold there. Here we go. I've never seen a sword like it. Apparently there is gonna be a big Oh god. Yeah, there we go. Never use the special abilities against me. Dude, can you please stop that? There we go. They are trying to become smarter and better, but... Not really. Alright, there is a secret path apparently through here. Oh, I finally found a legendary unidentified item. That doesn't usually happen. This area is so dark though. Oh, you know what? I can climb down. I definitely want to climb down here. Let's see what I can find. Oh! Wait, where is this one taking me to? Uh, Just some more hidden things, but look at that. That level is just not worth it. That's why I absolutely hate collecting these. I'm just filling my inventory space with items that I'm never going to be able to... Uh, or not able to use, but I am going to be able to use, but I'm never going to put them on. Just because of how low, uh, how low level they are. The only great thing about him is that they are going to be, I guess, items that I can only activate as appearance if they don't have good stats. All right, let's keep it going. I have a feeling this is a path I should have taken with a mission at one point. But uh, since we are able to do this already, Off on another adventure, we go are we? coasting along. And I found a brand new uh, area. That's what I wanted. Awesome. And now we're also going to be able to fast travel to these locations, right? Because we activated the fast... Uh, Fast travel ability as well for these spots. And I think. Rebellion. Yep, there's a reveal that I can activate as well. The anti compass. Look at that. Or compass, actually. Let me load this up and collect those coins. Perfect. Rebellion. This area looks really good. I'm loving this. And of course, there is another fast travel I can activate all the way at the bottom. And I think there is also a cave all the way down here as well. Oh, but this place looks really awesome. And of course, an ability for... This fella. Not really like an ability, I want to say like a uh, challenge for Merlin. 
Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Why not? Because this is going to have me uh, jumping on some of these platforms. Hopefully, it's not going to be that difficult. Let us see if I sprint and jump. There we go. We're good. Awesome. Oh, how am I supposed to do that jump, though? Hopefully, we can. <laughs> oh, we got it. 15 out of 20. So, we need five more, and we're going to be done with all the challenges. Not bad. I'm going straight in with this battle. Straight in. Not gonna even bother to run away or try to dodge these fellas here. What have I done? Let me see what have I done here. Dude, stop that. There we go. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is so good. Ooh, she got me. There you go, buddy. Now we're done with you. There we go. Now we're done with her as well. Not yet. Not just yet. Hold up. I just need a few more of those potions, though. Come here. Stop staying away from me. Awesome. There's still more, though. There are still more uh, enemies on this side. But the reason I wanted to come here is because apparently there is a side quest that I'm about to collect in Rieta's map. Uh, look at that. There's a treasure in here. And it's also kind of show me a pattern. I think you got to use the fire ability and the freezing ability in order to open up uh, some sort of a... Huh. Secret chest or something. The location marked on the map isn't far from here. Hippogriff marks the spot. Huh. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I really enjoy doing the, some of these missions while I'm exploring. I really don't mind it. Knowing a meat, he's likely studied here. Yeah, he most of his study here. And we are also just about to study as well, just like him. But I think I gotta zoom out quite... Oh, God. I don't like the sound of that. That sounds like a huge troll or something. Wait, how am I supposed to? Oh, I think it's supposed to be like that. Yeah. Am I doing it right or what? How do you even get this one? I think it's supposed to be here, but it has to be bigger for sure. Yeah. That is it? Come on, almost. Almost, almost. There we go. The Hydra. What? Yeah, that is a troll over there. I don't really care about it. What I care for here is. Let us see. I think I can actually fly. Also get myself the butterflies because the butterflies just discovered a spot over here with a chest. Did not want to do that. I want to fly, buddy. So I want to make my way inside this castle. Not allow me to go in this house with the broom, unfortunately. Yeah, which means I'm gonna have to find a way to get in somehow, eh? Hmm. Seriously? Yep, this is definitely not gonna open. Rebellion. Interesting. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go in through this side then. There we go. That one has been collected. And the way you can get out is simply by pulling this over. There you go, buddy. Rebellion. 
All right, next up. There is another one inside here, but I got to get in through... The back, maybe? Or no, maybe through the inside. Hmm. Cannot get in through here. Can I blow this up? No. Can I get in through here? No. Seriously, this castle is a little bit annoying. Yeah, it's all boarded up. This kind of used to be like a church by the looks of it. Not a castle. And this is an entrance. Okay, okay. I kind of love it that there are some of these uh, structures, these abandoned ruins, that can only access uh, by accessing, of course, some specific doors. Oh, you know what? We also have to get rid of this Lumos. stuff to get through. There we go. There's another one. Uh, this one. Let's see. Apparently, I'm going to have to climb up. I'm going to be guessing here. Yeah. So, let me pull this over. And place it like right about here. Right? Hmm. No, that's not going to work. Can I jump on my broom? Yes, we can. This is easier. <laughs> if only Professor Fake could have seen that. I don't even know how many of these we need, but uh, we definitely have to do a few more of these challenges. All right, let's keep on going. I am going to keep on making my way towards the village over here and see if I can find this other moonstone. We do have a shop where I'm going to be able to sell some of my stuff, which is not bad. We do have some side quests, of course, from people. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Not bad either. They're going to activate as many missions as we can. Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derricol. Oh, okay. I know what that is. Ah, uh, yes. The magical bird can disappear when it senses danger. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> <Such laughs> they do look funny. like dodos. I'm worried about a large albino derricol known as Gwenaira. Huh. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. Yeah, and I don't believe I've seen a uh, white one. Fashion accessories. Uh, you'd be better than poachers. I could keep her. Let's go with, I could keep her. Sounds as if she needs rescuing. I know the perfect place. The perfect place is with me. No, it's Wait not. Wait until the neighbors see her. Uh, not to mention listen to how her. fashionable I'll be with those beautiful feathers. Oh, she's just trying I to be like a poacher to, to grab her feathers. Her. And I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. Wow, I'm definitely not going to give it to her for sure. Why not try to save all the Derricals? And what does the Derricol den look like? Let's go with why not try to save all of them. Why are you fixated on Gwenaira and not rescuing all the Derricals? Gwenaira is special. She's more attractive to poachers with her lovely plumage. They'll try harder to take her. The other Derricals seem to have managed evading poachers quite well on their own. Nah, I'm not going to give you I'll that. I'll keep an eye out for a sure. large white Derricol. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. Just listen to her. She's just interested and in the feathers. She yeah, she's One worse than a poacher. Thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. Ah, at night? I do hope you're able to save her. You know what? I will save her, but I will Be not give it to you. To chase her. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. <laughs> Alright, let me go for her. Let me see if I can actually I collect I her. Watch for good night. Yeah, we are going to watch for Gunaya here. But as I was saying, I will not give it to her. And I know exactly where she is. She's by that tree that I've seen uh, as I flew by it. So let us see if we can hopefully find her. She's supposed to be only this during the night. This must be the Derricol den that Miss Moffat told me about. Yeah, and I already see her. Gunaya is that one. I already see her. Awesome. Let me see if I can s capture her here. Oh, 
Come on. Don't disappear on me. We got it. Awesome. Got her. There we go. Now we got Gunnar. But I'm not going to give it to Gunnar, though. That is the thing. I'm not going to give it to Mrs. Moffat or where her name is. I feel like these dodo birds really like it at the beach, so I'm probably going to have to move them at the beach. The only problem that I have with that is that... Um, I don't think I have any more open slots for the beasts to be placed at the beach, unless I move the unicorn uh, to a different location. And I'm pretty sure the unicorn might actually like it on a different location as well. All right, let's activate this one as well. There we go, buddy. Landing. I just need a few more as well. Awesome. We are completing missions like crazy for the exploration challenges. All right, let me chat with this lady. I'm not going to give her it's the uh, Dodo Bird, though. Out of a story. Oh, definitely, definitely not going to give it to her. Any luck finding Miss Moffat. I caught Gwenaira. That's incredible. Was it terribly difficult? Uh, it was easy. Uh, not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, <laughs> may I have her now? Nope. I will keep her. Actually, I think she'll be safer with me. But it was my idea to rescue her. I'm the one who fell in love with her beautiful plumage. Oh, the cheek. Now, what shall I do? <laughs> Without her feathers, I can't finish any of my fashion designs. I mean, look at her. She just planned on getting you her feathers. Foul napper. I hope she picks your eyes out. Well, I hope she's going to pick your eyes out. What the heck? That is so mean of her. Uh, is this statue in here? I don't think it is, but this kind of looks like a shop. Yep, this is definitely a shop. Let's see what this guy has to sell. Hello, sir. Might you have some time to talk? I have all the time in the world for a potential <laughs> customer. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Cromwell. Tiffin Cromwell. All right, buddy. Uh, I'd like to know more about your Hamlet. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about your shop. Yeah, tell me about I'd your like Hamlet. I'd like to ask you a bit about Mar and Weem, if you don't mind. Of course. Lived here for years. Lovely, peaceful place to settle in. It looks pretty lovely. Any word of Rookwood's lot? Have you heard rumors about dark witches or wizards lurking nearby? Try to avoid them when I can. Nasty lot, Rookwood's crew. However, so he knows I did about it. see a poacher not too long ago. Not good for business. Not good at all. I have a feeling the poacher is that lady. <laughs> what do you have for <laughs> And say? I just didn't give her the birds. All right, let's go ah, with... Yes. What can I do for you? I'm not going to buy anything, but I am going to sell all my wares. Such a pleasure doing business with you. I could have, of course, sell all this stuff back in my shop, but uh, back in Hogsmeade. But you know what? I think I just noticed the moonstone, and it's straight up ahead inside this house. So let me go ahead and uh, collect it. Hi now, dummy guys. I know. It's right here in the corner, but I got to figure out how to get inside. Uh, thankfully, there's no lock. And it is this house. There we go. We got the demi guys. Perfect. I just gotta find two more. So since it is nighttime, uh, the next spot is gonna be right over here, the next hamlet. So let's just go ahead and activate it. Why not? All right. Let me keep on looking. Let me also activate the fast travel in this town. Nice and this to one is the Rainberg. Not bad. Not a bad name for a town. And I think I already spotted the moonstone. Which is in this house. I'm now, dummy guys. Quite curious that these houses are not locked, as I got used to every single one of them that I explored, at least in the other towns. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, can I eat these? What's this gonna make me do? <laughs> Spitfire. Love it. All right, let me see what this guy has, because apparently the shop here is going to have a side quest for me as well. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. Hmm. Her pet Niffler? It's just a Niffler. I shouldn't worry about it. It's only a Niffler. He may be only a Niffler to some, but to me, he's a very special boy. Lovely company. I've had him for years. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. And they say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew huh. near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. 
I've been worried sick. But I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. So we're supposed to go ahead and save her? Tell me more about her here. Why don't you get uh, him herself? I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. <laughs> All right, hopefully, uh, what do you have for sale? she's not just taking advantage of Rococo. What's brought Rococo. you here today? Uh, what brought me here is me selling this that stuff to you. does sound intriguing. Perhaps I yeah, should we are gonna have to, We for are going to have to go ahead sake. and check out the hideaway for sure and try to rescue Rococo. But first, let me check the map real fast. Uh, so I got me the, the uh, demiguys in this one. And there is one last demiguys that is over here. This place looks pretty uh, interesting. There's a lot of mountains around here compared to the other areas that we visited. I'm gonna make my way down, of course. Keep on unlocking this one. I also see another side quest that we are supposed to be here. But first, the demi guys is the reason we came here. And let me also get a fast travel ability. Activate it. Handy resource indeed, your field Crack -rot. guide. I'm most pleased to be included. All right, let us see where this one is. Rebellion. I think this one is kind of the biggest town so far. Okay, this one doesn't have the move thingamajig. It does have some blueprints though. Large decorated table, square. Uh, there is a area here that I can activate. I wonder who lives here. Why am I getting this noise? I don't think I activated any enemies, did I? Uh, the giant shade tree. Now, oh yeah, I do see Rebellion. the enemies and there is a side quest all the way up there. I'm guessing I gotta save that lady maybe. Yeah, let me go ahead and activate this real fast. The Ashwinders cannot be allowed to run roughshod over our way of love. There we go. Got rid of him. What's up? Is everything all right, Madam? Olivier. Madam Olivier. And no, everything is not all right. The vermin known as the Ashwinders have infested nearby Clagmar Castle, disrupting not only our sense of peace, but our valuable trade. It appeared that they were finally going to slither away until Sylvanas Selwyn arrived. Sylvanas Selwyn? Head rat. My guess is that if someone were to take out Selwyn, the rest of the Ashwinders would disperse. But Selwyn is a skilled wizard. I certainly can't take care of him myself. Believe me, I wish I could. I'm at my wit's end. Maybe that's where I'm also going to be able to find the uh, the pet for that lady. Where's the castle? What they're doing so... And what are they doing that it's so terrible? What's so dangerous about the Ashwinders? They're not your typical thieves and extortionists. Not that typical thieves and extortionists are lovely company. They would not leave poor Bella Navarro alone. She'd given them everything, but still they kept threatening her. She was ready to go back to her family in Italy. Almost lost her livelihood. They are ruthless. Hmm. All right. Where's the castle? Where is Clagmar Castle? Clagmar Castle's along the south coast, south and to the west of here. Okay, and who is Sylvanus Selwyn? Sylvanus Selwyn? Never heard of I him. I thought Victor Rookwood headed up the Ashwinders. Selwyn's one of Rookwood's lieutenants. Not quite ah. as terrifying as Theophilus Harlow, but a menace nonetheless. So maybe if you take him out, I we're going to make them uh, for you. less stronger. Goodness, no. I'd never <laughs> ask a student to confront Selwyn. But I'm offering a nice bounty on his head. Feel free okay. to put the word out. Okay. I will I definitely take him out then. To go back to I'm tired All right, let me hurry here to try to find the um, last demi guys, because the sooner I find them, oh, and I already see them. Sounds like going to be able to collect it before has to go. nighttime uh, leaves. Hello, let me go upstairs to grab the demi guy because it's going to be the last one. Finally, we got them all. Look at that. Fine now, demi guys. We got all of them. All the demiguys have been completed. 
it's really easy to actually find these ones if you're using the map, of course. And uh, checking out the details. Alright, finally completed all the demiguys, which means I can now make my way right to... The storybook. I can now make my way to finish up the um, flying side quest as well. But at the same time, let me find Sylvanas here. Let us see what this is all about. Because these fellas are apparently hiding in that castle all the way to that side. Pretty far away. But, uh, it's fine. Haven't I already been inside this castle? It kind of feels like I have. This area is pretty big that I'm exploring right now. Rebellion. This must be the castle. So, so many enemies here. Things yeah, things. I definitely haven't explored this if area I can before. Just get to him. I should be able to disband the group. Yeah, sure. Uh -oh. Let us get to him. Why can't I not go down? Good for you. There's one. Rebellion. So many enemies here. I wish I could actually get that guy to me. Oh, that was a bad throw. That was a waste. That's just the beginning. You're the one who released Now you Jesus, dude. Oh god. No 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 no. They messed me up. Hold up, let me start using some of my special abilities then, since there's so many out here. Why not? Let me also activate this fella, the Mandrake. Get this right. No, no, you're not gonna Petrificus to tell us me. Come here, buddy. All right, we got this one activated. What do we got more? This fella. It is so easy to take him out like this. Love it. Hold up, buddy. Oh, this one is Sylvanias. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Come here. You've heard many of my friends. Get destroyed. Oh my god, that was easy. So easy. Way too easy. Right, any more? I want to finish every single one of them. Get over here, you <laughs> Seriously? Dude, come here. Alright, she's done. There are just a few more that I'm supposed to finish up, and uh, we are going to finish every single one of them up. What is that? Control. Huh. Rebellion. I don't even remember that uh, ability. But let me open up this one as well. Ooh, collection update. Awesome. That is a level 3 one. So that's really good. Uh, no more potions that we can carry. But what I want to do is, of course, activate the fast travel ability. Which is on the other side of the castle. You know what? Let me fly to get to it. There we go. Clagmar Castle. Activate it. Rebellion. I see you. Oh man, it is so easy to take him down like that. Love it. Uh, you let Nora Treadwell go. Yeah, I let Nora hard. Treadwell. In. I set her free. There we go. Right, this section has been completed. Uh, now, before I head on back and tell the lady that we finished up Rebellion. her mission, I also want to try to look for the uh, the pet, right? Because it might actually be somewhere right here. I don't like the looks of that encampment. Wait, is this guy in a in the wall? Yeah, this guy is stuck in the wall. <laughs> Let's just leave him in the wall then, because I think if I'm not mistaken, the creature that I'm supposed to save is inside here. 
Is Nipu here? No, it doesn't look like he is. Uh, what about... Back here. No, nope, it's just a way for us to go inside the encampment if I don't want to make any noise, I guess. Uh, so as I was saying, let me go into the mission. Okay. We got the quest. And... Rocco, where is this guy located? Oh, you know what? This one is taking me quite close. Which is this way. So let me try to save this little guy as well while we're at it. Daytime is also arriving, which is great because we don't need to do the missions for the demiguys anymore. We are completely done with the demiguys. Uh, are there any more balloons here? No. I wonder what, the, I wonder what type of creature there is going to be down here. Because there's definitely a spot for more creatures. Oh, I missed. Go down. <laughs> Why is this balloon causing me so much issue? There we go. So many ball creatures here. Uh, oh, over here. There she is. Yeah, I made it to you. Hold up. I was actually making my way towards uh, the pet first, and then I'm gonna come and do this mission so we can upgrade our broom. Let me go ahead and finish this one up first. This must be the castle where Mithrinders had better find a way around them. Or perhaps... What? Find a way around them? Through them. Yeah, through them, exactly. I oh know god, that poor guy. That see poor guy. You should oh my god, there's so many. Destin, <laughs> Trinity. He's gone. That was easy. I think there's quite a few more. Uh, there's also a mission for nighttime that I'm supposed to activate here. Which we are going to do while we're at it. Nope, hold up. I missed. Man, that was easy. So easy. Where's this one? What just happened? Did he just despawn? Rebellion. Yeah, I think he, he killed himself for some reason. I don't know what happened there. Oh, it's right below me now. What happened? How did that happen? What is this guy doing? Keep on messing me up. Alright, he's done. That was weird. And I think that is the last one. So what I got to do here is look for the Niffler. Um, let's see then. Rebellion. Not to mention, I have a lot of these things that I got to blow up. Stuff because we did activate the Merlin's Trial. Uh, this is the last one. That's that. There you go. Settled. Finished up with this one. Right, thank you, buddy. Uh, as I was saying, I don't have to do the Merlin's Trial anymore, but I just had to do it because I was here. Why not? And let me look for the Niffler next, because the Niffler has to be somewhere out here. The arrow is kind of pointing at the bottom. So, might there be an entrance through here? Oh, it is. Uh, you know what? It is going to be kind of like a cave. Yep. Right, let's go inside Henry Weirdo's hideaway then. I hope the Ashwinders haven't done anything with Rococo. Where yeah, I'm really Merlin's hoping to. Well, this is going to be a dungeon with some uh, really crazy challenges. Okay, that's ice. This is fire. So how do I do the fire one, I wonder? Because I do not see... Oh, you know what? Let me activate that. So I give you the chest. 
We also activate that one. So that it hopefully gives me... Yep, this. Perfect. Come here, buddy. You gotta sit here. Alright, so what I'm supposed to do here is, of course, go with ice on the left. Good for you. Fire Good here. Nice ice here. Awesome. There we go. Ooh, there's so many. Yeah, there's gonna be quite a few of them. Not my fault. Should have expected company. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is a hippogriff statue. Get out of here, buddy. Right, he's done. Oh no no, you're not gonna put your tell us me, buddy. I <laughs> uh, love that so much. Man, these guys keep on trying to do Petrificus to tell us on me, but it's never gonna work. And finish that one up. Alright. More treasure. Prococo must have been through here. Oh, you know what? I know what this is. This is that treasure. Hold up. So if I go for. Yeah, I know exactly how to open this up. If I go for inventory, if I go for notes, and then I go for the treasure, which I'm not quite sure exactly which one it is. Uh, sort by newest. Nope, not that. Um, oh, I think it's this one, yeah. So this is the map that I'm supposed to look for, right? So look at that, this is the fire. Uh huh. So we need these two to be on fire. The one in the back and the one on the left side. So, this means I need ice to turn off a few. This one's gonna be turned off. Wait, why am I not? There we go. This one needs to be turned off. This one needs to be turned on though. Same for this one. Same for the one in the back. Right here. This one needs to be turned off. And this one needs to be turned on. Perfect. Let's see what we've we got. Here we go. All right. We got it. Now, what did that do? That is the question. Because he also confirmed, right? That I've done the right thing. So if I check the map again. Let's see. I love that we came here for the treasure as well. Not just for the Niffler. So this is telling us that we got to go here. Activate this. But uh, it doesn't really say anything else. Hmm. Rebellion. So wasn't this supposed to open up? Or am I now supposed to do something about these? Interesting. Hold up a minute. Uh, let me activate... Oh, you know what? Rebellion. I know what's happening here. Uh, this may be opened up. This must be what all Ooh. the fuss was about. That's what the fuss was all about. Awesome. This was the uh, side quest. And the great thing about it is that it gave me some really pretty gloves. Um, yeah, I don't think the gloves are here. I think they're just visual. So if I go in here and activate them. Oh, these are the ones. The treasure seeker gloves. Yeah, they don't look that bad. Definitely going to go with them for sure. When it comes for the uh, glasses, I do have a pair. But I have to unlock them first to see what level they are. Uh, this guy looks awesome. Purple like that, yeah, sure. Let's see, nothing over here. Uh, we do have a scar that is high level, but I gotta discover it first. And nothing for these ones. Alright. Uh, what did I unlock though? Hold up, room requirements. 99%, seriously, we're just about to finish this up. So this means all I gotta do now is go back to my camp and see the breed of the unique beast. Or maybe I'm supposed to breed the uh, phoenix, but I don't have a phoenix. And once I do that, I'm going to get this mask. Yeah. Man, 100% of the game. Feels so good.
All right, I love that we finished up this quest. Now, what if I go here? Where's it gonna take me to? Okay. Uh, no Nicholas in here, but it does look like I gotta bring something on this side. Rebellion. Oh, I gotta bring this one, yeah. Akio. Nope, not you, buddy. I need Akio. this. Okay. And if I burn it. Rebellion. What is he doing, I wonder? Did he do anything? So confused. Maybe there's Confusion. something on the other side? Rebellion. Confringo. Rebellion. Yeah, because there's definitely nothing happening here. So let me go on the other side. <laughs> Did you open up something? Oh, it did. It did open up this door. Oh, I knew it. Look at that. Huh. I absolutely love exploring things like this and unlocking as many puzzles as possible. Uh, for this one, I'm going to have to take it up like that. And I think that's ice. Yeah. And can I ice it up from here? Oh, you can. Oh, that was so cool. I also love the animations that these doors are making when you're opening them up. Rebellion. It's just really, really epic. All right, we got this one solved. Next, there is another one down here that I got to solve as well. And for this one, I got to bring that over. Ooh, how the heck did he go through there? Uh, okay, I'll take it. I was supposed to take it through the top, not like that, but anyway, I guess it works. He did his job. Come on, buddy. Good Use the fire. There we go. Oh, more coming in? Hold up. I need my fire ability to activate. I think I've got both of them on fire. And super fire as well. Rebellio. All right, still no creatures over here that I gotta save, so let me keep her going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore every single nook and cranny in this area to try to find everything that I need to find. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing over there. Let me keep her going. Did I miss anything here? Oh no, just some coin. That's fine. I do see that there is kind of like a door. Hmm. I wish I could... Yeah, move this and open up this door, but... I don't know how to do it. Oh, you know what? I better watch my step in here. Whoa! What was that? That was pretty sick. Wow. All right, all right. Hold up. Let me jump. Perfect. So that is how you open that uh, doorway up. I get it now. That was so cool. I think this is the first time I go through one of those uh, gateways. That was pretty epic. All right, Akio. open this up. There we go, buddy. Now we can go through that door. I was struggling a little bit there. How do you open this door, though? Oh, we had to break that thing. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, I just moved it away. All right, we finished up the uh, mission with that thing. What if I just climb up through this side? Revelio. Still no sign of Rocco anywhere. The game keeps on giving me a lot of potions for health, although I don't really need it. All right, let's keep it going. I'm I should pretty sure the that, to find that Niffler. exactly all these coin tracks, they're definitely everything that I need. You know what? Let me pull this guy over. <laughs> what a dreadful lot. Uh, love it. I just Rebellion. placed him in a the cage there. 
That was awesome. My question is, what if I go with it? Oh, I'm getting exited again for the other side. Interesting. Alright, let's do that so we can cross. Rebellion. Uh, let me go back here for a second. Is there anything on this room that's hidden other than coins? Mm, no. Alright, let's keep going then. What else? Oh, more rush winders. Yeah, don't worry about it. They're still looking for a treasure. Look at that. Dude. Oh my god. Hold up. Oh my god, get destroyed. No, buddy, you're gonna get stuck in just a second here, but I missed, unfortunately. No, 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 no. There's so many. Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed. Hold up. You know what? Let me try something else. Um, Let me try to use these potions. And I have to destroy them here. Here we go. So much easier like that with these potions, for sure. Seriously, guys, your brother dead? Come on. I thought you guys were smarter than that. Dude, come down here. There we go. Stop with your Patrifica Sotalos abilities. That is annoying. <laughs> Alright, the little one is apparently hidden behind this wall. Uh, so I gotta find a way to get to him somehow. Now, let me try to figure out this puzzle. Oh, there we go. Never mind. I didn't know that this one is gonna open up just by me passing through it. Right, pull, up, pull this up and grab it over. Come here, buddy. Let me leave you for there for now so I can grab this. Ah, another map piece. Look at that. Interesting. So apparently, I gotta get to this section over here, this island. Which I'm not quite sure exactly where it's located. What's this? If I'm not mistaken, sold by the Some bell. Some sort of treasure map. Yeah, apparently that is another treasure map that I'm supposed to solve somehow. Uh, and if I go... Oh, I cannot go in the map. Never mind. Use the musical map to find the treasure. Okay. Um, first of all, let me go up here for a second. Oh, you know what? I think I can actually get out through there. Yeah. Akio. Hold up, buddy. I need... Lingardian Leviosa. Lingardian Leviosa. There we go. I don't think I can get out from here, right? So I gotta take this other path to get out. Just like that. You know, so bring that one over again. Why is that one moving so slow? No, I don't need you there. This one. Needs to come over to this side. It's so slow. For some reason, it's so slow. All right, there we go. So that's gonna stay there. This one is gonna be placed here. Good for you. And it works already. Awesome. Finally, figured it out. Ugh. When I get my hands on that Niffler. Ah, look at the Niffler. There he is. Alright, buddy. Stop running. Alright. Rocco mission completed. Professor Howell, 
never realized how tiring it can be to capture a Nifla. <laughs> what do you mean it was tiring? That was so easy. What are you talking about? All right, lastly, all I gotta do is just activate this, collect the chest. And let's get out of here. I think I got everything from this side, right? Yeah, I'm not missing anything. All right, let's get out. We're good. Use the musical map to find the treasure. Okay, so that one is still active. I think we are good to go. Yeah, we got everything. Let's get out of here. I believe there has to be like a bell inside this uh, abandoned castle. Actually, it's not really abandoned because we just took out all the enemies from it. That's why it's abandoned now. Oh, I found them. There we go. But first, I gotta take care of this fella so that he doesn't cause any issues. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Ah, no this, right. this looks like the spot from the treasure map. It does. Alright, so I gotta play these bells. The problem is, it's pretty dark outside. Cannot really see anything because of the mist. So let me make it daytime. There we go. So, I now have to figure out how to play this uh, bell. Let's see. This is probably not gonna be as easy. Huh. How do you even play these right? Oh, I think every single one of these... Yeah, I think I kind of understand what it is. Let me just note this down and try to figure it out. Alright, so as I was saying, the first one is... One... Uh, second one is... This one. Next, we have this one above it. Next, we have this one. Okay, that's fourth. The fifth one is this. The sixth one is this. Then we got this, and then this. We got it. And it's also showing the notes at the bottom, I just noticed. I did it. Yes. Awesome. Wait, what did he just drop? What is this? And look, treasure. What? Treasure Seeker, we just unlocked ourselves a new ability, or more like a new outfit. That was awesome. I absolutely love seeking for these treasures, man. It's just so epic. So freaking epic. Of course, it didn't give you anything uh, that we can put on with stats. It just gave us a visual one, which I'm going to apply right now. And I think the one that we just unlocked is... Uh, oh, is this one. Oh, look at this outfit. This looks amazing. The treasure seeker has been unlocked. And I'm actually really, really enjoying the look of this. Man, happy days. <laughs> Alright, let's keep it going. So, we finally solved up another treasure. And I love it. Let me go ahead and finish up the quest. We have two quests that we have completed. And I want to make my way to the owner of the quest. Tell them that we completed them. And get a reward as well. Selwyn has been taken care of. You defeated Selwyn? Sure My did. beard. A student took down one of Rookwood's top filth. Then I suppose this bounty is yours. Well deserved. Hmm. Uh, happy to help. I'm glad I could help protect Cragcroft from the Ashwinders. The thieves will finally leave us alone. Thanks to you. You're welcome in Cragcroft any time. It's such a pleasant place. Look when at it's that. Not really threatened by we got new gloves. Not bad. Not bad. Interesting. Uh, all right. Well, with this one completed then. And they also reply now to the fact that Sullivan's gone. That's so cool. So cool indeed. What is even happening here? There might be a creature on that side, and a cave that is not even worth exploring. Uh, let me see what type of creature we have here. Hmm. 
Revelio. What are those? Are those the cats? Good for you. Oh, they're uh, hold up, they're high level cats. Yeah, I definitely want to get me one of these high level cats for sure. Because I do need two of each. So let's grab that guy. Oh god, don't run, don't run. Alright, there's one. Rebellion. Seems a pleasant enough little place. All right, hold up. Let me finish up the mission with Rocco as well. I'm also gonna sell this guy everything that I have. My poor well, Rococo. It, or this lady, actually. Miss Coffee, I found your Niffla. Oh, goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet <laughs> Rococo? May I have him back? Sure. I'm sure he'll be happy to go home. He will. Oh, my brave little explorer. My greedy, greedy boy. Oh, I can't wait to get him home. Thank you again for what you did. All right, now enjoy. On, I'll keep Rococo on a lead whenever we go out. What did you need uh, to help she didn't say on a leash. What's brought you here today? Uh, what's brought me here is the fact that I got to sell you a lot of stuff as well. Never Just to get rid of them for my inventory. That's what I say. There we go. This is going to be pretty fun. Because this is the last one. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. <laughs> Pathetic. They should Pathetic. be begging me to keep these trials alive. Not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... thank you. I know I can be impatient, <laughs> but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <sighs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. Hmm, seriously, I'm ready for the challenge. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> get ready to lose, Ravenclaw. I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Like in Spongebob. Alright, let's see how this goes. Hopefully it won't be that difficult. Alright, come on, buddy. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Made it. God dang it. This guy's pretty fast. Oh, oh. oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It is pretty difficult to control a little bit here, but hopefully I can get my bearings. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Oh god, I messed up. Got a little bit of speed, thankfully. Come on, buddy, come on. We got this. That wasn't too difficult. As long as I get a few bubbles, it should be all good. Come on, come on, speed up, speed up. We got more bubbles. This is really epic, though. I'm really enjoying these races. With the broom. We have quite a lot of these rings that we gotta do, which kind of feels like we're going through uh, around this entire new area. Oh god, hold up, buddy. There we go. Flying, if I do say so myself. Good job. We're going. Almost there. We are halfway there. Actually, a little bit better than halfway there. Made it. So the time to beat is 2:42. Uh -huh. You know what? Now that's more we are like doing it. pretty well. Definitely gonna beat it. Come on, go high up. Go high up. Go high up. Oh god. Oh god. Almost messed it up. Oh no! I was supposed to go down. Oof, oof, oof. That was so close. I think I missed a ring, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I must have missed one ring. That's why we got that uh, red sex activating there. Hopefully, I'm still gonna win it, even if I missed one ring. Because I'm getting very, very close to the finish line. That wasn't too difficult. 
Oh, I missed one ring and I messed it up as well. No, we got 28 out of 29. Seriously? Huh, that wasn't too bad. Actually, I may be good. Huh. Yeah, let's just check it out and see that if we won. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's <laughs> not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. almost. Well, that was awesome. It's been fun. Competitiveness runs in the family. We'll keep on running the courses and any plans to play the Quidditch team? I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that <laughs> did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. All right, well, it's, it's been, been fun. fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. Not bad <laughs> for a Ravenclaw. What do you mean, not bad for a Ravenclaw? Ravenclaws are awesome. Fly the good fly. I think we are completely done with all the flying missions now. All right, perfect. I that is what I want to see. That this was his best upgrade yet. It was. It was pretty good, for sure. Uh, okay, in that case, I think what I gotta do now is just simply fast travel. To tell uh, the dude that we finished up his mission. It's 5,000 meters away. Man, that's so far. But first, let me tell this fellow that we finished up with his mission so that he can start working on the upgrade and uh, eventually sell it to How's me. My favorite test flyer? We're good, buddy. We're good. Uh, wait, no, I want to chat with you actually about the flight. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Awesome! Should have anticipated that! Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you! At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade! Very excited for you, buddy. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Of course, his upgrade is going to take Couldn't a little bit. He's not going to be able to activate it instantly. So we are going to have to come back to him later on in order to activate it. But first... Good for Mr. Um, Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. <laughs> we do. First of all, let me make my way over here and sell it off all the loot that I have. see you back here. There we go. We have a lot to sell. And of course, more money to make. You know what, I think I'm gonna wear this mask now. Yeah, let's just try out this mask. Uh, it's just a, a visual, of course, just an appearance changer. All right, and with this one complete, next up, what I gotta do is make my way to Mr. Moon. Try to find Mr. Moon and tell him that we found every single one of those uh, objects. Now, how do I find Mr. Moon, though? That is the question. Hogwarts. Uh, no, I think I gotta go into quests. The man behind the moons. Track it. Go for the map. And oh, Mr. Moon is actually right over here. Never mind. Alright, and ultimately, tell him about us completing every single one of the uh, moons. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I <laughs> He used to be bullied Piers Pemberton. Seriously. <laughs> I don't think he likes that nickname. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh <laughs> about them! <laughs> I laugh the artist of all! Clever, clever man. Huh? I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. <laughs> Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna be a friendly visit. Really hoping. There we go. The man behind the moons also has been completed. I 
I'm truly oh. awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Uh, no way, he already finished the upgrades. Seriously, buddy. Well, guess we what? Definitely gonna make my way over there. Brave enough to eradicate the demiguy's figurine menace. <laughs> Happy to help, buddy. Happy to help. But let me make my way back inside Hogsmeade here because I'm just about to get myself the best upgrade ever, Does and that is without no doubt. Cozy than Hogsmeade. The broom upgrade because I keep on using the upgrade the broom more than anything. The hippogriffs look awesome when they're flying with them, but they're not fast enough. I feel oh, like hello my broom. Again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, it is 7,500, but thankfully we have enough money. I truly enjoyed working with you. Here we go. Thank you for believing in me. Cheers, Albie. That was awesome, buddy. We finally got the upgrade that we were working so hard to achieve. All right, and now, of course, if I jump into my inventory, into gear, you can now see that it's fully upgraded. Oh, look at this broom. This actually is pretty epic. I feel like this broom is the most awesome one, to be honest, the one with fire. Although we have so many types of broom. Of course, this one is a broom, a fire broom as well, but this one is also a fire broom. So this or this? Hmm. This one kind of looks really rudimentary, although this one looks a little bit more modern. So I'm definitely going to keep on holding on to this one for sure. Hmm. Alright, anyway guys, that being said, I think it's going to be the end of this episode of Hogwarts Legacy. We have done quite a bit of side quests in today's episode because I was trying to achieve quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, finishing up my broom and also finishing up the uh, demi guys, of course. Uh, so we were getting very, very close to finishing it. I really, really wanted to do it. But that being said, see you all in the next one once I'm going to be making my way inside Professor's Black Office and carry on the main story from there. So, stay safe everybody and I'll see you soon. Bye!